Hi, Terry. It's Hi. been a while since I've seen you. Yeah, How have you yeah. been? I've been okay. I've been um, having a lot of problems, actually, kind of uh, with coughing and having kind of flu-like cold symptoms, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, but that's been my biggest thing right now. Okay. Yeah. What kind of what kind of things have been going on? Just a um, cough or a runny nose? It's or? a cough. It's like a head cold. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a lot of a little bit of runny nose. Not really. It's mainly just a, a cough. Um, I've been having coughing up a lot, having shortness of breath, and I've um, been running. I like to exercise a lot, and that's kind of been something that's been debilitating me from that. Um, okay. Walking up the stairs even gives me some kind of shortness of breath sometimes. Um, sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night with cough attacks, but it's a lot of the time with my um, working out that I have to stop and just have a big cough attack. Sometimes I just have to go home and I can't really finish my workouts. So this is a new thing then, yeah, all the shortness of breath? and uh, It's been probably worse than last month or so, Okay. Um, but it's been going on for probably two or three months. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, that's very concerning mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. Um, we're definitely going to have to look into that okay. and see what's going on and hopefully get that fixed. Yeah, because I like that. Exercising is important yeah. and we want you to be able to do that. Yeah. So, um, do you mind if I ask you just a few standard questions before we get to that? That's okay. Okay. Um, do you use any alcohol? Um, no. Uh, maybe once in a while with a friend. Mm -hmm. um, if I go out, I'll just have a beer or something like that, but nothing to the extent of a lot of alcohol. Not on the regular no. or anything? Okay. No. And do you smoke cigarettes? That I do. Okay. I probably smoke about two packs a day. Mm -hmm. um, Camel is what I normally go for. Okay. And how long How long have you smoked two packs a day? Um, probably since I was about 14. Okay. So yeah. that's been about 10 years or so? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's kind of part of your routine. And yeah, I think that I can't imagine not. Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for about 10 years now for many reasons, I guess, and I can't imagine not having that as part of my day. Okay, well, have you ever maybe thought that um, smoking that many cigarettes would maybe be causing the shortness of breath that we were coughing? I hadn't really thought about it like that, but now that you bring it up, that could be something that's been causing it. Okay. Yeah. Well, would you mind if we kind of talk a little further about your cigarette smoking? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, I think that um, the amount of cigarettes that you've been smoking mm -hmm. is above safe limits, okay. and I'm concerned that it could be really harming your health, and mm -hmm. I really do think that this is what's causing all of these head problems and right. coughing and shortness of breath. Okay. So, um, would you, would it be okay if I offer you some advice? Sure, I think that'd be probably best for me at this point. So okay. Some of the symptoms that I've been having, I think that since it's been going on for so long that mm -hmm. maybe that's something that's been the reason why. Okay, well, I do think that you should, um, begin to cut back on your smoking and mm -hmm. hopefully reach an end goal of quitting smoking okay. because it would overall greatly affect your health and it would make it so much easier for you to live a healthy life and feel better. Mm -hmm. So um, if, if it's okay, we could maybe talk about it, um, okay. talk about some ideas of how we could maybe cut back okay. and that just talk good to me. You. I think I like that. Okay. On a scale of 0 to 10, mm -hmm. with 0 being not ready at all and 10 being the most ready to start mm -hmm. right now, how ready are you to start stopping smoking today? Uh, maybe a 3 or 4 at the highest. Okay. Uh, why didn't you rate it low at a 0 or a 1? Uh, well, probably because of the symptoms that have been going on with my shortness of breath and that's just been something that's been really irritating to me and I'd like that to end and mm -hmm. also my brother um, he has a daughter that's my niece and I love hanging out with her and spending time with her and he doesn't like when I smoke so that's been something that's held me back from seeing her so that's probably why I didn't rate it um, any lower than that. Okay so it sounds like spending time with your niece is really one of your top priorities? Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. 
So um, why didn't you rate it higher than a three? Why not say a six? Um, probably because, well, I had depression a long time ago. I battled that, and I think that I started smoking more when that was going on, and that was kind of my safety net. And I'm just afraid that if I maybe did quit or even, you know, hold back from it at all, that that would maybe come back and. I would hate for that to happen. So. Oh yeah, yeah, I understand because that was that's a hard thing mm -hmm. to go through. And and also it's just a part of my life now. I've been doing yeah. it ten years, so I think that's maybe one of the reasons why I don't have to want to really stop. Oh yeah, that's understandable. That's a that's a hard thing mm -hmm. to take out of your life when yeah. you've been so used to it. Yeah. So well, what are some ways that you think that maybe you could cut back? even not not even completely stopping but maybe just cut back a little bit like what are some things you could do um, instead of smoking or well I think that exercising is a big part of what I like to do so maybe you know since I with my smoking it's been harder to exercise maybe that would be something that would keep me from wanting to um, or keep me to maybe want to stop so that I could exercise without shortness of breath and mm -hmm. um, maybe in something that I could do. I don't I don't know maybe uh, when I was battling my depression I kind of went to groups and talked about it so oh, something yes. like that that's a really good idea mm -hmm. group therapy is really helpful uh -huh. because then you can talk to people that are going through the same things you can yeah and maybe they have some good ideas they can share with other right. people and mm -hmm. you can learn from them and learn more coping skills right I think that's a really good idea yeah I think that would be one of the best bets if mm -hmm. I could decide that that was what I wanted to do yeah what do you think about um, listening to music? Do you enjoy listening to music? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. well that could be maybe um, a way to deal with something if you're feeling stressed out and okay. you want to jump to cigarettes, maybe you could jump to listening to music instead. Okay. Yeah. And you could even combine that and exercise and listen to music yeah. at the same time to keep your mind off of smoking. Okay, yeah. And then, um, maybe you could also talk to talk to your friends or right. your family? Yeah. A lot of them smoke too, but okay. you know, I I could, I think I could think of a few that maybe don't, and I'm just, another fear of mine maybe of not wanting to make the rate any higher is, um, <clears throat> oh, they all do smoke, so mm -hmm. it's kind of something that's a social thing for me, but, mm -hmm. you know. So maybe not talking, maybe not talking with them about yeah, the others smoking, but yeah, talk with people who don't smoke, and see how they're dealing with stress without yeah. the cigarettes. And, yeah. and I think since you were able, you you have overcame your depression really well. And um, I think that is a good indicator that you you can stop smoking. I believe that you can. So I would hope so. so we'll see. Yeah, maybe we can get you set up with okay. some, um, I've got some group names that I could give you. Okay. So, I can helpful. maybe go to those, okay. and um, I can I can let you contact me if you ever feel like you're ever um, if you're ever really struggling. Okay. And then if it's okay with you, we could meet back maybe in a month or so and okay. see how see how these things are going. And okay. If you're making any progress. Okay. So I think that I'll try it out. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you for talking to. Thank you.